Okay, here's a, a quick uh, tip if you're out there looking for, for work in the environmental sector or sending around your CVs and not getting any replies. Um, especially for young graduates, if you're looking for your first job, you know, getting work without experience is, is, is really difficult. Um, but what, what, you know, from, from years of going through CVs and we get so many every month, uh, something that's become really clear to me is what, when you send out a CV and a covering letter, most of the time what people are doing is they're asking for a job. You're asking for an employer to take a risk on you as a new graduate who's got no experience. I highly recommend if you're doing this, change your approach. Go to your employer, your potential employer, or the person that you're actually sending your CV out to, and offer them something of value. Give them a really good reason to employ you. If you're asking a small business or uh, uh, somebody who's running a business to take a risk on you, it's a really, really unlikely scenario that they're going to do that. There's, there's lots of really experienced people who they could, could, could take that risk with. Um, you need to offer something of value. And you also need to, more importantly, get your foot in the door. Once you've got your foot in the door and you're actually in that system, things get a lot easier. But getting your foot into the door, I understand, is incredibly difficult. So when I, what, I, what do I mean by offering value? So instead of saying, uh, you know, I've got a master's degree, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, this is what I learned at university, these are all the modules I've done, say, this is who I am. I'm looking for an experience. I'm looking for an opportunity. What can I bring you? I can bring you. Oh, I'm really good at social media. Give me three months. Let me just run your social media for you. I've noticed your so online presence is really poor. Um, that's something that I'm good at. Give me three months. Let me see if it makes a difference to your business. Or something to the effect of, um, you know, I'm willing to work for three months and just write tenders and proposals for you all day. That's what an employer wants. He wants somebody who's actually going to be bringing business in and adding value. Um, or I've started this, this project, or I'm involved with this organization, and I think there's a really good synergy between the two. It's something that I can bring to the party. Um, I can help you with marketing. I can help you with blog writing. Um, there's all of these things that you need to actually very, very clearly state and say, look, I am looking for an opportunity. I am willing to give you this. This is my current skill set. I've got no work experience, but I'm really good at social media. Well, I'm really good with photography. I can do some amazing photographs of the work you guys are doing at. That'll make your website look better. I'm good with search engine optimization. Um, I'm good at making videos. Um, I can pull tenders together. I can write proposals. Whatever that skill is that you've got, offer that skill. And, and take the risk away for your, from your potential employer. Say, look, just give me a month. Give, give me two months. Um, let me see where I can help you with the skills that I've got. Um, and I know it's, it's still a long shot, but what you're doing is you're, you're bringing something to the table. And I think especially for young people, you know, you've got skills in social media. You've got skills in marketing. Um, if you're creative and you've got skills in writing or skills in photography, these are things that uh, employers in the environmental sector, those are skills they generally don't have. And a lot of the time when it comes to marketing and looking after the social media and blogging and that side of the business, that's often something, or certainly in our business, that's something that gets neglected. So if somebody came to me and said, hey, look, I might have a master's degree in zoology. Um, I understand that I'm, I've got no work experience, but these are little skills I can bring to your business to help your business grow. The moment the employer can see that you can add value and help these business grow, now he knows, hey, I might be able to get more money into my business. That money allows me to employ more people um, then you've got a, you, you're starting to get a shot. You're starting to set yourself apart from all the other people. Um, and it's, it's a really important thing, that value proposition. What are you going to offer? And I think the final thing I want to say here um, is keep it, keep it short, um, but make sure you are offering something. Um, and when I say keep it short, say, just say, give me a month, give me two months, give me three months. Because once you've got your foot in the door, you'll meet other people. Uh, once you're in that net network, things will start to change. Uh, but the important thing is just getting your foot in that door and offering something to your employer. So don't ask your employer to employ you and take a risk on you because that person's probably running a business. They're dealing with lots of issues. They're dealing with cash flow. They're dealing with human resources issues. They're dealing with clients. Um, offer something that's going to make that easier for your potential employer. And then you'll have a real shot. Um, asking your employer to take a risk on you as a totally inexperienced graduate, your chances are very, very, very slim. So make sure you go in there with something that you're going to be offering. Um, this is something we work a lot on with our careers in conservation program. Um, we, you know, we look a lot at the skills you need. How do you pull together a tender? It's actually quite simple, but for most most um, 
most businesses, it's a really painful process. How do you effectively market an organization? How do you write proposals? How do you write budgets? These are things that even though it's an environmental company, this is the stuff that is bogging your employer down. He's bogged down, he or she is bogged down with, uh, with budgets and finance and dealing with clients and getting quotes out and dealing with tenders and writing proposals. These are the things that are going to bog down your employer. Um, so that's where you need to step in and say, hey, look, I can help. And if you can get your foot in that door, uh, you're on your way. Um, I hope that's some, some useful advice. Don't ask somebody to take a risk on you. Offer them something that you can add value. Uh, if you're really interested and you want to know more about our careers and conservation program, you can click on the link below. Um, yeah, something we do on this course is, is really try and make sure that you've kind of got those, those skills that you can uh, offer a potential employer. Cool. Good luck out there, guys. Ciao.